is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. Oh, speaking of shave, we talked about the Kevin Owens shave. He had the gruff on the face. So he came out, and I thought, I thought they cut a good heel promo. I mean, well done, in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of an old school style promo where it's like the Canadian thing, and you're in America, you're the U.S. champ. I liked it. I, I thought it was cool. I'm, I'm okay with that kind of heel heat. He's cutting a heel promo. He, there's no gray with Kevin. He's a heel, and there's nothing confusing about him. <clears throat> no one has to ponder. Well, what is he? What is he? What is he? What is he? <clears throat> I like that. I like that. I believe in gray, I've, as I always say, in characters, but I also believe in. <sighs> You need to have defined roles, especially with your top guys. That's just something that I, I truly think is uh, extremely important. You know what I mean? So, um, and I like that Sami Zayn, well, before that Baron Corbin came out, which I kind of didn't expect, but it was cool that he came out. And then when Sami came out, Kevin's reaction was tremendous. Like, oh, my God, you're haunting me. I can't get away from you. I thought that was very funny. You know, and, and I thought it all worked. And then Daniel Bryan coming out, caught it in that promo about payback. That's raw, right? Payback? Yeah, I think that is, right? That, that the U.S. title, it, it depends if it's Jericho or Owens, what was the U.S. champ at the end of Payback, will be officially on SmackDown. I thought that was cool. It, was, it wasn't a convoluted promo. You had to pay attention. His delivery, Daniel Bryan, his delivery in the promo was excellent. The content of the promo I thought was real good. I liked it. I liked the whole thing. I, I, I liked it.